of humanity. Well, there once was a union gal. She was tried, she was true. Woo! She worked real hard to please the folks, but Terry came and got her too. He doesn't seem to care about who he hurts or why. He only seems to want to help big money boys on high. Oh, yeah! We're sticking to the union. We're sticking to the union. You know what's funny? What? Yes. What? I start every morning with 20 minutes sitting in silence, but this is very powerful too. Yeah. <laughs> Empiezo cada mañana meditando con 20 minutos de silencio, pero esto es muy poderoso también. So we should do this every day, right? Yeah. Because we're here standing for rights of workers, we're here standing with unions. Right. I cannot think right. of a better way to start Labor Day than actually staying with working people, working together. No puedo pensar en ninguna manera más importante de empezar el día del trabajo que estando con los trabajadores. Thank you, everybody. My name is Jake Long. I'm 25 years old. I've been working for Burger King yeah. for about eight years now. Um, I started out as a teenager, uh, just looking for a job, kind of get myself on my feet. And then uh, I started uh, supporting myself. My mom moved away to South Dakota, and I had to live on my own, and I started supporting myself, and it became very difficult. Throughout this last year and a half, I became homeless at one point, um, as well as I, ha I started creating a family and that I had to leave behind because of my wages, because I could not support that family. And uh, I lost three animals due to that. And now I'm forced to live uh, at this point with my brother to help rebalance my finances and get back on get back on my feet and get everything started. Uh, last night, me and my fellow employees, uh, we all led a strike at 11 o'clock last night, closing up the burger thing. Fighting for the same reason, fighting for those increased wages for a better living for everybody. Okay, so now, right. my daughter she's a one-year-old did you know that 60 more 64 millions make less than 15 an hour is that okay no. I said, is that okay no. that means nearly half the country is struggling like I am to pay rent to pay the electric bill to pay for things like
Now some of our critics say we don't deserve 15. They say we're just fast food workers. Let me tell you a little bit about the job I do every day. I get up at 3 a.m. to open the store. I stand on my feet for eight hours, busting my tail, running from cash register to making drinks, to making sandwiches, to taking out trash. I clean, I direct the crew, I prep every day. By the time I get home, I am tired. And because of my hard work, my company makes millions of dollars and they can afford to pay good wages. to survive. So what do you say? We deserve 15! What do you say? We deserve 15! We deserve 15! And it's not just fast food workers. Today, workers are joining our fight. Health care workers are with us. Child care workers are with us. Gas station workers are with us. We are growing every day today. 300 cities are struggling with us. So let's stand, let's keep fighting, let's win this! As I heard you all chanting, I believe that we can win. Y mientras escuchaba que todos y todas cantaban, yo creo que vamos a ganar, que podemos ganar. I just thought to myself, I don't believe that. I know that. Yes, yes. Yo creo que podemos ganar. Yo sé que vamos a ganar. You know, in the last five years, 22 million workers have won $15 across the country. En los últimos cinco años, 22 millones de trabajadores han ganado salarios de 15 dólares. And here in Iowa, we will be next, right? Yeah. And it doesn't matter if we have to wake up early, it doesn't matter if we have to go to bed late, it doesn't matter if we want to work a lot. We know that we will win. It's Labor Day. And we have to remember that, you know, hundreds of years ago in New York City, people marched to demand better working conditions. Tenemos que recordar que en los 1800 la gente en Nueva York marchó y salió para demandar mejores condiciones. Just like you all are doing here today. Just like we all are doing. Así como estamos haciendo todos y todas el día de hoy. And just like they won, we will. Yes! yes. Good morning!
You see that building, the top of it, that looks like gold? Yeah. Guess what? I'm running for governor, and I'm going to stand up for working people. My name is Kathy Glosson. I'm a union nurse. I know what the fight is like. Fight for 15 and a union has just begun in our state. Thank you. Is anybody here <clears throat> marching on for the first time? First time. Now, I want you to remember the very first march that you all did. The very first protest, the very first rally. And think how long, <clears throat> think how long it has been. Think all the different marches, all the different causes that you supported. So, let's give these guys and girls a big, big applause. Okay, so, just tell us your name and why you're here. Hi, I'm Savannah, I'm 21 and I work at Taco Bell. When people gather together, there's a the power of people. So don't ever think that you're alone. There's yeah. always people yeah. working with you. Yeah. Yeah. People are standing with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! If we don't get it, shut it down. 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 We are here just to let you know. Okay. That Why are events like this important? Well, these are, these are the events that are actually, you know, Labor Day is a day of, uh, of family, I get that, days off, parades, but these type are the events that are going to make the difference, because these are the events that are letting folks know that we are not going to relent, that we're going to fight for $15 an hour, and once we get $15 an hour, let's be clear about that, we're, we're also going to fight so that everyone can unionize uh, in, in an easier way that, that they should be allowed to, because if you get 15, but you don't follow it up with the ability to unionize, they're going to figure out a way to take it away anyway. So that's really the key here. This is an amazing thing. It was an amazing thing at the Burger King, Scott. Uh, what we saw was, was, was regular people coming together to fight for other people. And that's really what the movement's about. And I think that's why Fight for 15 is going to be successful. You know, there's not one state in this union in which $15 an hour can pay for a, uh, an average two-bedroom apartment. That means working people cannot live a quality of life that they earned and they deserve. Uh, unless they're making $15 an hour. You need at least $15 an hour uh, at the bare minimum. That's where the discussion starts uh, to, to live a, a, a decent uh, life. In every state in the union, that's what, that's what rent is for a two-bedroom uh, apartment. Thank you. All right, Scott, thanks.